Thus, we have seen uh, this reduction, not exact reduction, but we have seen the Boolean algebra and the Boolean function. A Boolean function is like this. When you have equations like this, then we call it as a Boolean function. And a Boolean function can be formed with uh, R and and operators and then negation operator etc and within parentheses and equal sign so the whole thing is said to be a boolean function this is what we have seen in the last class and we have seen how to uh, write how to arrive at this solution that also we have seen now we are going to see the how to draw the circuit diagram for these uh, boolean functions now let us say this first equation that is f1 equal to x, y, z bar. So how to do that? x, y, z bar. It is multipli x multiplied by y multiplied by z bar. So for all these things, you need only a 3 input AND gate. Okay. So x is given directly. y is directly given directly here. And z is z bar. That is complement. So here you use a NOT gate. And then you give the connection. This will be the, your output. So now I'm going to show you, last class I told you, I'll be showing uh, how you can do in a software. So now we'll uh, I'll open that Logisim. I don't know whether it is here. Logisim. Okay. It's not here. Okay, the next class I'll show you then. Um, here it is in this system. It is not there. Okay. Now... So here what happens, uh, x, y, and z bar. Now we'll see this, the next equation, x plus y bar, z. So x plus y bar, z. So here these two are R gate. You need a one R gate. And then you need an AND gate also. So here, z and y bar. Then this will be given as an input for an R gate. Okay, these two. These two in these two are input for an R gate. So this multiplication, uh, after multiplication, the output is given as an input for the R gate, and here X is given. So this is your logic circuit. Now the next equation X bar Y bar is at X bar Y is at and so on. So here we need two R gate. Okay, this one uh, actually not two R gate. Here you need three AND gate. One, two, three, and then uh, this can be given as one input. This is another input. This is another input for an R gate. Three input R gate. So if you see that X bar. Now we have taken X, Y, Z. And then X bar here. For the first equation. First term. X bar is given as one input. And then Y bar is given as an input. And Z is directly given. So this is for first AND gate. Then for the second AND gate. Again it is. You have to take it from here. If you take it from here, it is X. Okay. Here it get converted. So I'm taking from here. When I take it from here, it is X bar. When you have a dot, see, you can see a dot here. So which means it is connected with that. That's what. If you don't have any dot, then uh, if this is to be connected and this is an input, then you can see a uh, dot here. This is how a logical circuit can be represented as uh, it is connected with that wire. Okay, then X bar, Y. Now this is Y. See here, it is given here. It is not given here. Y. Here only it gets converted and here it becomes Y bar. So before that, it is Y only. So that is what given us another input. Then Z. Z is here. Because we, we, we the whole thing is just Z only. There is no Z bar or Z. Okay, then X, Y bar. Here X for this X here. See here. It is given x and y bar. From this, it is taken as input. Now, all these things are AND gate. And then all these are added together. So, we need a 3 input OR gate. Any doubt so far? Are you able to follow the circuit diagram? Yes? Ma'am, output button. No. Output? Output, every member I know. This is the output. Now, circuit diagram. Just one minute. Uh, within one minute, I will come to the class again. I will stop recording. Just one minute.